Guys, if you see my last video, you would have seen I was in Bogota, the capital of Colombia. Now, I did have the best of time, so I spoke to some Colombians and they said, Ben, you need to check out Medellin. And that's what I've done, I flew here. And if you see behind me, Mr. Boulder's here as well, in all his pride. Look at him. So we're here in Medellin. I've got two local girls showing me around. One's called Juliana and one's called Carolina. So I'm gonna meet Juliana first. She's gonna be showing me the north of Medellin. And then I'm coming back here later and we're gonna meet Carolina. So vamos, let's explore Medellin with Mr. Bold. Now, before we get into things, this video is sponsored. So I'm gonna pause this video for one minute and tell you all about Atlas VPN. Let's do it. Now, one of the main questions I get asked about my travels is, how do I stay safe when traveling? And how do I cure my boredom when I'm stuck in hotel rooms for a day? Well, I use a VPN, not just any VPN, I use Atlas VPN. Atlas VPN is doing a huge discount deal, which means you get three years of Atlas VPN and three months free for just 183 per month. To get this cracking deal, click the link in the description. Once you get connected to the Atlas's server, your device gets a whole new IP and DNS address. In simple terms, this means your data is encrypted and your virtual location is hidden. And my personal favorite is unblocking websites that is not available in your country. For example, do you wanna watch shows that are only on the US Netflix? Well, now you can. Just change your virtual location on the Atlas VPN and you can binge watch any show that you can't watch in your own country. This deal won't last long, so make sure you click the link in the description and make the most of it. Cheers to Atlas VPN once again for sponsoring this video, and now let's hit the streets of Medellin. Vamos! Now, let me introduce you to a local in Medellin, Juliana. Hello, guys. You are Colombia's craziest driver, <laughs> but the best driver. <laughs> Safe, safe, safe. Very safe. Oh, maybe not. Bloody hell. Holy shit. Watch out. Fucking hell. Oh. Fuck me. Are we going to get there alive? Good Jesus. So this is the it's gonna center be of Medellin. A little bit, I don't know. Everything is like crazy. That's fine. <laughs> I want crazy. I want crazy content. We are heading to a place called Comuna 13. I'll explain to you what it is in a minute. But what it used to be is the most dangerous place in the world about 20 years ago. It's different now. Let's get there, and I'll explain to you when we arrive. Now, in the 90s, this was one of the most dangerous places in the world. But, in recent years, it's now become a tourist hotspot. I mean, where we are right now, look at it. Tourists everywhere. It's having a good day out. All the way up here as well. So, this doesn't look so dangerous. No, it's not dangerous. But obviously in the 90s, completely After different story. Yes, on the 90s was one of the most dangerous places that we used to have. But right now, the place has been changed. Has changed a lot. As you see, a lot of people is playing music, dancing. It has a different story. We have a different story to tell to everybody. After the war, in the 93, when Pablo died, this place just, a lot of people just took this place. But in 2003, the government just take it and make it all organized. There you go. Well explained. So this is it. This is... Where are we? Well, what's it called? The... Communa 13. I forgot the bloody name already. And it's a cool little place. We're going to walk around, try some food here, listen to the music, and yeah, enjoy the day here at Communa 13. Look at the view. It's pretty incredible. Sort of reminds me of the uh, favelas in Rio. <laughs> so what's the rules here, do you know? I don't understand. Basically you put money on the floor, roll the dice. I put some money in. 
Hey, Mateo, no puedes tomar esto. Estamos. Yes, yes. Aquí. 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 I didn't know. I think I've lost my money. No, perdió. Cuatro de huevos. No idea? Yeah. Fine, I've lost it. Let's carry on. Excuse me, brother. I think they... I just lost 2,000. I basically gave this guy 2,000. I think they put it in, his, put it in their pocket and that was it. Oh well, whatever. Right, what is this here? Come estas? You want to come on? Si? Sí? Vamos? Yes? I pay for this kid as well. Amigo, uh, están bien. Tres. Tres, por favor. Tres. Firmas aquí nombre, identificación. Escribo mi nombre. Oh, you've got to sign a waiver in case you die. You've got to sign a waiver here. In case anything happens, I can't sue him. Huh? Hello. Hello. How are you? What is your name? Mateo. Mateo. Sign of my life away here. There we go. Well, the best signature. Yeah. Yeah. Julian is sitting this one out. I'm taking uh, taking his kid instead. Let's go, mate. Come on. Oh my God. You ready? Yes. Me? No llorar. No lágrimas. No crying. I think I'm gonna cry. Oh man. I regret doing this already. Oh man, what have I done? Oh man. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh I've given up the seat. I've the seat. Stop the road! Ah! <laughs> ah! Go! Ah! Oh, ah! There's coins! My money's all hanging out! Fuck! This is a disaster! The kids are staying on, I'm getting off, I can't handle it! No, they're getting back on! For round two! Adios! Enjoy! Oh. Ciao, Nino! Ciao! Ciao. Ciao. That's the kids of Communa 13. They're a bit more tough than me, obviously. They can handle the uh, death ride. Anyway, let's carry on. So it's very hard for me to film this because there's a lot of music playing. Obviously YouTube won't allow this, they're gonna demonetize me. There's a lot of stop starting. Anyway, let's continue through into Community Party. This way? So we stopped in this little cafe and what are we gonna try? In bananas. What is empanadas? I made like corn and some potatoes or meat. Corn and potatoes. Sounds interesting. I'm up for it. We just ordered it, so it's on its way. So inside here is corn and meats. Let me get my camera set up and try this. This is with meat, but this is with potatoes. Oh, this is potato and corn? Potatoes. Okay, it looks good. Oh. So it is potato. And here we go. It's good. It's like a samosa in, in, in India. Yeah, decent little meal. Served on a banana leaf here, look. And it's a spicy sauce. Wow, here we go. How much are these? Let's try. How much are they? 10,000 pesos. 10,000? Right. Around $3. Oh no, por favor. 
Maybe you like it spicy? This one. Okay, let's do spicy. Here in Colombo, you can try big ass ants. Extraordinary. That's what they call it there. I'm gonna buy some. Let's try. Ten? Which is gracias? Let's uh, take oh this somewhere else, God. a bit more quiet. Okay. Ladies first. Oh my God, no, we do it again, like, at the same time. Same time? Yes. The big one. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you ready? No. Here we go. Colombia's greatest street food. Oh, oh salty. I don't know. Wow. I don't know what is it. <laughs> wow. It's actually alright though, isn't it? It's just like a salty... Wow. Barbecue-y. Spicy. It's nice. It's actually alright. You do? Yes. That's the spirit. Oh, no. It's the, <laughs> the feeling. But, I don't know, but... I don't mind them. Oh. No, I don't know. Don't be sick in your <laughs> nice car. I just like remember that it's an ant. Yeah. Oh man. It's a bitter aftertaste, very salty. Oh don't worry, you won't even have one. <laughs> I'm gonna give these to my friend later. Pretend they're nuts. Mum, wow. Nice. Well guys, I have left Colombia. Man, that place just was not for me. When you're a YouTuber, and a travel YouTuber in particular, you'll understand like, sometimes you've got to click with a country. Colombia was not the one, honestly. So I've fled, I've literally fled. I'm now in Panama for a couple of days before we head to the next country. Colombia, I want to make a separate video about this, but yeah, it was not for me. Didn't enjoy it, to be honest. And yeah, I did meet the other girl called Carolina. Very friendly, nice girl. She showed me out in her city in Medellin, but couldn't film really, just couldn't film, wasn't in the mood for it. That's, it just happens, it just happens sometimes. Downtown Medellin, oh my God. It was like Bogota, it was rough. It was like something from bloody Philadelphia or um, downtown LA, I don't know. Uh, brutal, brutal. Yeah, I'll explain in a different video why I couldn't film it, but um, yeah, I've left. I'm now in Panama for a couple of days before we head to, head to the next country and continue this uh, journey. But um, man, <laughs> this just happens sometimes when you're traveling. You, you gotta really click with the country. It just didn't happen in Colombia with me. Let me know about your Colombian experiences. I've heard so many mixed opinions, so many stories, but um, yeah, let me know if you've been there. But for me, Colombia was, um, was a no. Loved Brazil, loved Peru. Colombia, nah. <laughs> anyway. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to film Panama for you with a couple of videos here. And uh, yeah, I'll explain to you in a couple of videos what happened to me in Colombia. See you then.